Take two, okay. Yes. The blurring thing. So well, the first video was three seconds long. Yes, so. of course. Friends, salute to welcome to the Brothers RC channel. Uh, uh, no, I will start. First of all, so subscribers and viewers, thanks for your support, for visiting our channel, for all your comments, for your subscriptions, for visiting our short T-Spring T-Spring uh, T-shirt store, for your donations, and of course for having fun with us and sharing the and uh, the passion for this hobby from this channel to the rest of the world. Eh? Yes. Good enough? Good enough. A channel without editing, what you see is what you get. Of course, most of the time we are filming planes and of course the planes related stuff. So today we have something really special. I will be quick because otherwise Captain Gosh will hold the camera for another 30 minutes. Uh, what will we see? I think that the time has come. Not long ago, we said we have what two, three days ago we have filmed the unboxing of this beautiful and sexy Dynam Gloster Meteor Devito the six cell powered plane jet from the Second World War, eh? Yes. Beautiful and sexy. And I said to myself, what the hell? Hey, it's been such a long time since we have unboxed this Dynam Detrum Blitz. Well, actually, I didn't tell, but you were flying it quite a bit, eh? Well, I was flying with this radio, and I have said, yeah, but what, you're smiling. Of course I was, because eh? I, because I'm missing a nap, eh? Yeah, <laughs> hey, I have just two long sticks, so I cruise them around my radios. So today I hope, my friends, that this will be something that you will be able to use, a good information about this, because, like you have seen, I fly so many radios that sometimes I just get confused, eh? But, of course, this does remind me a lot of my DX9 uh, radio, and of course you have seen here that I was flying this plane because I have here, I put here the long stick so I can manage from, the from very the old Futaba. Yes, of course. Uh, enough about that. The point is today that I said to myself, if we have such a beautiful plane, of course, maybe it's the time since it's been almost a year since the unboxing of this radio that we finally show you how to set this radio. And right now at the beginning I will tell you, <laughs> I was setting this yesterday again, getting familiar with the radio, and I will tell you that even it was such a long time since I was setting the radio, the plane, the last time in this radio. I mean, this for me is really, I will tell you the truth, one of the most logical radios to set in of all the radios that I have had experience by now. Eh? Yes. You just go from one, I think that you have just five, five uh, steps on this, you just follow them and that's it, eh? you can set your radio and not just that, this is a beautiful radio that you can even set, you have here, do you see this slot? What, crossfire? Nah, you what? can set the ESCs ah. of the, of the Dynam uh, ESCs directly through this, eh? you don't need the What card. is Skylord or what do they have? Yeah, Skylord ESCs, you can set them directly through here through the radio and one, the next, the most amazing thing to me is that this one is, I don't know, I think that this radio is the simplest if you want to set yourself the gyro in the plane. Hmm. And of course, like I have said, Detrum Blitz DT9 radio. And of course today I will show you how to set also, not just how to set the radio, I will try to be quick, but also you will see that we will later use and test the, the gyro uh, receiver yes. and the point is that they're really cheap I mean not cheap but they're quite expensive I think around 28 dollars or something you can get the 8 channel receiver not expensive inexpensive inexpensive you yeah. can get the 8 channel receiver with the gyro in and you will see how simple this gyro is to set I think that this is the simplest radio and the simplest gyro to set on the plane of course one thing that you will have to be careful I will show you you also right get the, the, the charger with this yeah, of course in this with the radio this is what you get with this radio you get the box inside here you get the charger for the radio, you get the strap for the radio and of course I think that you get one or two receivers already inside this and of course the point is, look this is the receiver. Mm -hmm. You must check and you will see that it says on the eye stone. The eye stone receivers are with the gyro. Now you have this 8 channel and of course you have a beautiful 6 channel with the short antennas but even with the short antennas say, I have made the test, I was flying the plane so far away that I couldn't even see it almost and they still worked. And it is like they say, 
even with the short antennas, you have more than 1.6 km of range. Or one mile. Yeah, that is pretty good. Cool. <laughs> and I will just tell you this right now, so maybe later I won't, if I will just forget. Now, the crucial thing is that later I will show you the position where I will put this receiver. It's really important that you really stuck the receiver inside good. And you have to watch for, to, for this plane. It must be faced forward. The plane must be faced forward. I will show you later because here I have this. And this is something that I can really salute the Dynam. They give you the list of all their planes and how to set the gyro. Do you see this? Now oh. this is one amazing information because usually with the radios you must guess on your own but here for every single radio that Dynam has on the market you have here the yaw gain, the roll gain, the pitch gain that you need to set inside in the gyro and of course the roll offset and the pitch offset if it is needed. I mean this is unbelievable. Very good. And of course this is one important thing because you will see later in the radio you will have the option and you will have to uh, say to the radio in which position you have installed your receiver. Yeah, so but the gyro will this, know. That always it must look forward like this. Like the plane is flying, you have the small plane here and that's it. Now of course with the radio you also get this instruction manual which in fact is more than enough. Yes to set this radio and you will see now how easy it is to set it. I will tell you now. <coughs> you have the knobs like on every radio, the sticks for flying, of course you have the trimmers here, the sliders here and the usual knobs like, like I said on my DX9 and even here we have opened this and checked you do have the antenna here and also inside here. Eh? Yes, there are two antennas. And this one, but this one is the difference. Here you have the charger. Here you have the options for the, for the SD card. And of course, this one does have the instant switch here. Mm -hmm. So that means because usually on my DX9 I have the wheels here. But on this radio I will have to have them here. And that is why even I put them on this side, even on my radio, since my hand accident, I always put the gear and the, and the, and the flaps and all on this side. So this is it, enough cutting wash. Yes. So now, the, I will tilt it like this and I will just... And I will turn it on. And that's, that's it. it. And now you get to the uh, open menu. Here you have the flight mode, the normal. Here it is, the time. Uh, it's counting time since the radio is on, the battery, how much it is charged, and of course you have here dual timers and the plane that you've been choosing to fly, Gloucester Meteor. Of course, I will just go through the steps and you will see how easy it is. You have here the knob to go back, you have here the knob to clear, and also to get the information if you have the if you have the information through the receiver. And of course, all that you do here is is doing it with this scroll, scroll knob, knob, or how do you call it? Eh? Yeah, scroll knob. And we will go just from step one to the next. I will just tell you what's with you. Eh? The fly is eating me. Eh? <laughs> so this did Captain Blush. I hope we will make this short and so you will be able to use this video because we are not used to film videos like this, but still we must film them because I will show you how simple this radio really is and of course here you have to see the Bluetooth and you can have the wireless trailer with this radio to the another uh, dead room radio you don't need the wire for the trainee and the trainer okay trainee yes and, yes. Trainer. and now you push the scroll the knob and here you have you here you have the six steps now if you will go to the to the to the last one to the sixth you will see that this in fact is settings for the radio, not for the plane. The language, the brightness, the vibration of the radio, do you see they say? Uh -huh, volume. The volume of the radio, the calibration, about and that's it. No, this is just to set your radio. But of course today we will show you how to set the plane. And you start with the step one. 
you have from one to six and just follow them and it's so easy step one if we push of course to confirm everything you push the scroll knob select model type and here you have the model types the airplane or the helicopter this is the planes this is the kind of stuff that you can fly with this radio you can fly airplane or the helicopter it doesn't have nothing for the quads but hey we don't fly quads so it is yes, good, enough, good for enough for us this is one of course you choose the airplane yes, and that's it step one is done go to step two model set model select in this one you can select later when you have more models if you just want to choose between models then you have here the second you make the model name you just push and you will choose the letters for the name the third step is the stick mode it always asks you when you will put yourself the new plane from mode 1 to mode 4 you just choose whatever mode you're flying in yes trainer set and of course here you have now the channel set here you will set yourself the knobs that you want to have for landing gear I have here the SH do you see yes now one thing that I will have to tell you here if you will look at the, if you will check the instruction manual for the gyro it's always it uses auxiliary channel auxiliary it, auxiliary channel auxiliary auxiliary ch <laughs> auxiliary yeah thanks captain Bush. Yes. it uses auxiliary channel zero but if you will check in the radio here and even if you check on the receiver you don't have zero so that means that it is one don't be confused the one the auxiliary channel one should be zero and this one is used for the for the gyro in the plane so this is the sb which so, one show again the sb okay it says here the auxiliary is the sb because usually after after the gear you set yourself to the first auxiliary channel you set yourself the flaps but if you will use the gyro you must leave the first channel auxiliary for the gyro and on the second one as C I have now here the flaps and that's it and if you will move them you can see here the movements so you can check what the knobs are doing do you see they say yeah. so the SC is moving here the auxiliary channel too and no, that was SD. The, the SC, but what's with you? This is the SC. The SC, Captain Blush, do you see? The SD is this one. And this one I have for the for the yeah, but, uh, but, dual yeah, rates, but on the screen Blush. is SD moving. Not here, here, Jack. Oh yeah. Auxiliary 2 is SC. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yes. It's not like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Captain Bush. You have the channels here, yeah, yeah, well, and then you can check them here. Yes, Look at me. this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you see the yes. SC is moving auxiliary two, yes, and yes. the gyro is moving auxiliary one, zero as they called it in the instruction manual. So that's it. All that you need, you have here. Model set. Then you have here the fail safe that you will set import export informations and reset the model if you have the model you just put it all to zero that you have set this is the step two interesting have you seen what i have set it right yes, now yes very easily go back next step three model parameter you go here here you will set yourself the endpoints here you will do the sub trim later when you will plug in the receiver here you will do all your reverses that you need here you can do your servo delay for the flaps or something and here you must also put the switch set and i will set myself right now the switch that uh -huh. you were talking the sd switch i set that switch for the curves of the aileron the elevator and the rudder which that will be the dual rates. Yes. Do you understand? Of and course. of course you have also all the other options to set yourself all the knobs uh, on a switch. Auto parameter. Throttle hold and mix set. Here you set the mixings already prepared for you. The V tail delta virtual elevator and throttle to to bull or bull. <coughs> what, bull? 
Ramos balance mix. Balance mix. Yeah, of yes. course. Say. And you set them inside here. Eh? This is it. And of course, the last one is the flapper on mix. Mm -hmm. So this is what I have done here. You have seen that in this one, for this plane, I, said I have only gone to, uh, to what I have done here. Programmable thing. Nothing. I have done nothing here, in fact. In this, no, in this one I have done nothing. In the mix set, and of course, here now you set yourself the curve, the aileron, and that is on the other radios we call this the dual rates or the uh, expo and the and the, the rates. Yes. Push, and you see here. Do you see here? Mm -hmm. 100% of travel with the Expo 50%. You set it here, this, then you must go down and confirm this one and put it to the second stage of the knob. D1, go so back. So you have the SD knob, right? Yeah, this, now I will set here in this aileron curve, I will set the ailerons to, to they are already set to this knob. But now I will set three travels. Yes. First one was the D0, then you have the D1, and of course you have the D2. Do you see this? Yes. These are triple rates, and that's it. Eh? These are triple rates. Of course, everything you do, you must confirm later with pushing the roll knob again. It is the same here with the elevator. Do you see? Mm -hmm. I have the first one full travels with 50% expo, then you go down, check this one, D1. And the point is, whenever you switch the SD, it switches all the three. Yeah, that is why now some guys, they do have the elevator ailerons and the rudder on different switches. Maybe that is good, but I have never used it and it works good for me. I have all three set to one switch and instantly I load down all the travels on the plane. Because usually it works like that. Eh? Even yes. if you check the instruction manual, if you set yourself lower ailerons, usually it also set yourself lower elevator and the rudder and that's it. Eh? Now this is it. You have also other curves that you can set here. The rudder curve, the throttle curve, that is the RS curve is for this, for the sliders here. And you are done here. Let's go now to the fourth position is the function set. And here you set yourself the timer. Mm -hmm. You push it in. And it will ask you what kind of timer do you want. Timer down, timer up, triggered by throttle. It can be triggered by the switch. Of course, throttle threshold, you must put it to minus 90. So it means that after I will go 5-10% on the throttle, it will start to count down. And you set yourself here timer to 3 minutes. You have the minutes and the seconds. And of course, you have also for the... For the uh, yeah, that's it. The timer, the seconds. Yeah. yeah, and that's it. This is timer one. You can have two timers and that's it. Download history, downlink. You can also download the stuff and the settings for the planes uh, from the Dynam site, internet. And here you have also the ESC set. This is if you want you to set. You plug the ESC inside. Yeah, your... You plug the ESC inside, power it and that's it. And you can set the ESC. If you want to put the well, place. this is actually a very good feature. I mean, this is. I mean, and, and have you seen by now, my friends, how easy it was to come to this? And the plane is now set. The plane is set to plug it with the receiver. All that you have to do now is the airplane gyro. And here you have how you here inside here you set the gyro of the plane. But of course, if I will try to do it now. Airplane gyro airplane gyro but it is unable to connect the receiver because it is not powered yes. for that first you have to set yourself the the receiver all the travels and or, or just or at least you must bind it at least you must bind it with the with the with the radio and how do you do that i will go back now of course i don't need to bind it right now because it is already bind but how do you bind you must switch off the receiver, radio. then the radio, then you put the power, the receiver, yeah. after you put the power in, you have here the knob, push it, this one comes with the knob, you don't need the bind plug, just push it, it will start to blink, and then you must put them close, because uh -huh. with the spectrum, I must bind around 3 meters apart, 
But with this one, with that one, they say that you must be close, around half a meter, and then you just, like you said, power the receiver, push the button so it starts to blink, and then push the instant button and hold it. And turn on the radio, and uh -huh. that's it. And just wait. And it will tell you, it will start to point, and it will tell you when the receiver is bound to your radio. I mean, this is so simple that it can't be simpler. And now we go here. Uh, we have come to this point. And now we are ready, of well, course. It, it, well, this is interesting. Well, it starts in a millisecond, eh? We don't have to wait, nothing, eh? No, it just starts. instantly. I mean, really good radio. And I have sat on the unboxing, eh? It really, eh, you hold it in your hand so good. And like I have said, eh, I, I haven't found by now the simpler radio to set. Just follow the steps. I mean, this is unbelievable. And the simpler radio to set the gyro, because usually you're so afraid of setting the gyros. Eh, all kind of uh, outside, but this one already has the gyro inside the receiver, and that's it. And for a really good price, eh? and of course now we can plug the the plane in, and you will see. And now you will see how important it is. I can't stress more. When you will put yourself uh, first, of course you must check if everything on the plane is working good, and then later you must really secure the receiver inside the plane good. Double side tape. And I think that I will even put some hot glue or something to really secure it because every single movement you will see how because here inside is the jar and that's the point that it will control your plane or help you with, with the windy days or something from the sudden movements. As soon as you do a little movement, millimeter, you will see what the, the, the surfaces will do. So that means that you can't fly with the gyro good if you have the receiver inside on some velcro and the receiver will do this wobble in the flight and because of the vibrations i mean that will be nothing that will be crash the receiver must be stiff as the plane but of course it must be also leveled with the with the plane's line because every plane has that center line because if you will put it at some angle the gyro will remember that this is the aligned plane. And when you will fly, the plane will fly the same as this gyro. That is why you have here the offset. Because on some planes, they have, if it is the tail dragger, aha, uh -huh, you said yourself, okay, then the plane is tilted when you engage the gyro. And that is when you have to set here. And on some planes, you see here, like maybe on the sea wind, you can see here on some other planes that in fact, they do have the offset on the pitch. So the gyro recognizes that this effect is not the, the leveled plane, but it will be leveled later in the flight. So that difference to the leveled and to the plane that is on the ground thing. Uh, yes. And for this plane, I think that the best position of this gyro will be, I have shown uh, previous to Captain Blush, this place, look at this. Eh? Because I have checked this one, and it fits inside perfect. Look. And it's made Look. for this receiver. I think that this is really made, this place is made for the receiver because this, if we check this uh, a compartment for the battery or this, this goes down, the compartment goes back. But I have really checked good and this surface is aligned with the yes. line of the of the of the plane. And of course later if you will want to set and trim it good, you must put this. Because right now when I will engage the plane here. This also is not leveled with the plane, so it will try to compensate later. But it will be good just to show you how to set this, and you will see how it works. And for this video, it will be good enough. So this is Captain Blush, enough? Yes, more than enough. Let's plug it in. And that's it, eh? It has counted, and you can see now here, you have the green light. Now that means that I have this in the totally normal position of the, of the receiver. Of course, on this plan, you can also set yourself, if you want the blinking lights or the steady lights, with this. Oh, yeah. This is for the lights, the, how do you call this, the, some electronics for the lights. Yes. You can make steady lights for the blinking, but I don't know. <coughs> Leave it like I this. I don't know, they look pretty sexy. And now, finally, we can check what I have done. And rolls, right, left, up, down, the rudder, 
Of course, I won't check the gear because it is on this. The point is now that I show you how to set the how to set the gyro because that is the most important thing. Eh? No, it's not working now mm -hmm. because right now this is the first position. In the first position, you have total control of the plane. The gyro is off. You will see that you have in fact here the four four options for the gyro. Gyro off. Little gyro assist, as I would call that, the AS3X, just a little compensating in the wind. Then you have the safe. I will call it the safe select, it, it is not, but it is the safe. That means the recovery, I can call it recovery. If something crazy happens in the air, switch it and the plane will go back. And of course, in that safe, you are limited with the... With the Yo. With the yo, the pitch and roll and everything. You're limited. You can't tilt the plane around. That's it. Eh? You have the control of the plane, but not so much that you can tilt it or crash it. Eh? And of course you have the fourth position and that is the acro position. Now remember what acro position is. The acro position is also the position in which you can really check what if the gyro is working correct for you. Because some guy said, well in the acro the, 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 the gyro is not working. The gyro in the acro in this, in this death room blitz, I mean, it's so amazing. Do you know what it means? That is to practice the 3D flying. Huh, Captain Blush? Yeah. Do you know what that means? No. If you will put the plane in the hover position, switch in the acro mode, the gyro will keep the plane in that position. Eh? <laughs> you just put the throttle and the plane will hover on its own. Interesting. You want to learn to fly the knife, knife edge. Put the plane in the knife, knife edge, switch the gyro in the acro, and the plane will fly in the knife edge. I mean, this is unbelievable. And then you switch it off, and it flies in the normal again. And it's good that you can choose in this. You can have the normal mode, you can have then the, the, the beginner mode and the save mode, or you can have the on off position, and you have the save mode and the acro. You can choose whatever you want. And of course, I will just come here. Yes, and I will show you where is that. It's 30 minutes now. Oh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> come quick. But of course, I hope that this will be this will be helpful, helpful video. And of course, now I will show you where you set that gyro. Airplane gyro. And now you can go inside here. And now we have the city say. Uh -huh. The mode map. Here you can set yourself the modes. Do you see now? Yes. It is on the SB switch. On the position one, I have the manual mode. On the position two, I have the gyro mode. Go there. I, I just show it like this. When I will switch, look at the light on the receiver. Not the blue. This is now the gyro mode. Just a little AS3X assist for the windy days. And now. Oh, and this now is the What's this recovery mode. Well, it's not blue, it's not green. What's yeah. this? This is now Mix. the recovery mode. And you can see now what is doing with the ailerons uh -huh. because the receiver is just lying here. And now you will see how sensitive. I mean, look at this. Now I will show you if you will get any vibrations that the, the receiver will wobble inside. I mean, look at this. Look. Look. How will you fly playing like this? Look at just a little. Look. Look, look what the plane is doing, look, just a little. Now that means that you must really tighten the receiver inside the plane, but it must be one with the plane. <laughs> Show that. Huh? Look at this. I'm not moving the plane. Yeah. Just yeah. a little. Almost nothing. And now we can see that it is working correct and it should be. Of course I will put this out. And now you have seen this. Eh? And of course, this is in the safe mode. I will put it again out without it and here you can choose yourself. You can have on position one, you, have, you can have the acro mode or the safe mode. Whatever position you want, on that position you can set yourself what kind of gyro do you want to have. And of course back. This is of course first to set you uh, the positions on the switch. Airplane. And here you go and you set yourself the U again, do you see this? Yes. And then this comes handy because otherwise you will have to check and, and explore on your own Which what one is to yours? do. You go here to the meteor uh -huh. and it says, look, the U again, you check here, reverse 5540. Look, reverse 
55 40 and you just follow this the roll gain the pitch gain and of course the mounting do you see here uh-huh and we have of course the face up do you see here yes this goes direction of the plane face up face down face right and face left this is uh. important because because of this i have crashed the the do you know which one because mm. i did know in the past the, the comet mid, the comet yeah the comet because i have mounted the receiver on the side of the plane and i didn't know that you have to tell the re the receiver the gyro inside on which position it is of course that was doomed from the beginning but with this one i don't think that it can be much simpler i mean this is unbelievable and you can see here remarks the position one is gyro off mode the position two normal mode, position three auto recovery mode, and position four acrobatics mode, and that's it. Aerobatics. Aerobatics. I mean, I mean, this is unbelievable, and that's it. Eh? That is all that you have. You also have here the monitor. The fifth step is just the monitor, so you can see what is working on the plane. Do you see here? No. And the last one I have set is the the settings for the radio and that's it i mean this is unbelievable this is unbelievable well it friends. actually is <laughs> yeah but tell me if you have seen a simpler radio eh? yeah, actually not i was setting this after more than a year yesterday and just follow the steps eh? just check just go step one uh-huh what can i do here uh -huh, of course the name of the plane set the plane choose the plane i mean it's unbelievable just follow the steps i mean and of course also if you will need some information it's not the big manual, but inside here, eh, it's absolutely everything that you need to know about this radio. I mean, it's really unbelievable, and I can recommend it. Eh. There is just one thing that I would love to have on this radio. I just hope that they will put it in the future, and that is the voice. It does have the voice when you set yourself the radio. It tells you everything. You have heard the voice, but I would love to have the voice to tell me that the, there is the time to land that just that one eh? when uh -huh. it says to you time expired eh? <laughs> because usually you don't have time to check on the screen i don't never check i just listen eh? but it does have the beep so i must just get used to the beeping again because i had the radius before in the May, uh, maybe you could put in one 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 earphone in one side and yeah, you will maybe. hear it, you will hear it better, huh? And you can hear it better, or something. Because, of course, here in the back, you can put inside here the earphones if you were flying some... some like Huber does. Huber yeah, always Huber has. has. So he is listening when he is flying the, the glider, say. Yes. So this is it, Captain Blush. Huh? Yes. Okay. I will unplug this. The bird is almost ready. I must still set a few things here, put the decals on, and what the hell, hey? But the point is that I think that this will be some useful uh, useful uh, video uh, of us showing you another option for you you will have the link below explore it check it if you would love if you would love a simple radio and i have tested this i mean the the signal losses uh, you won't get any signal losses i was amazed i'm, I'm really sorry to know i don't have the smaller receiver it's really small six channel receiver with the small antennas and i said to myself what the hell eh? even if i will crash the plane i must test this and see how far i can get with it eh? because it says in the manual 1.6 kilometers and it really works and it comes also with the gyro it's so small it fits in every plane the small six channel that is usually more than enough eh? and you can see how simple it is to set the gyro i mean this is unbelievable even more if you will fly the dining planes because the, it is all prepared for you but usually if you will check these numbers here usually it is around it goes around 50 on all 50 50 roll gain pitch and then you can work from there and see later if the plane is some kind of sensitive or wire vibrating and wobbling and then you just uh, then you just change these settings but like you said for all the dining planes you have the settings here eh, and you're good to go in a minute eh? but this is unbelievable really, really. so this is it yes Pilot Robert Captain Blast signing off Slovenia with Detron Blitz 9 radio beautiful and sexy uh, I think that this is 9 channel radio huh? of course it says yeah. 9 yeah 9 channel of course the 9 channel and of course you have seen that for a good price you can get the eye stone receiver the 8 channel which is more than enough with the channels for any kind of plane and you have seen 
how simple it is to, to how simple it is to set. I mean, this is I'm really unimpressed, really, really unimpressed with the simplicity of this. So this is it. The captain was quite quick because this is the techno day. We have a bad weather outside, and of course, right now after this, we will film the second radio. Eh? Yeah. Of course, what we do, Captain? Yeah. The second radio. We can show you the variety. Yes, but quick. Yeah, quick, of course, I'm melting down here. Eh? So this is, no, cut, cut, what's with you? Eh? 